Hi, my name is Christian and I'm gonna make a mallard stickleback. This is this little green fly. And the hook I'm using for this one is a light sticker, size 6. Absolute favorite. And uh, start by putting on some thread. I use a black one, a black thread. And go, go all the way to the back. There we go. And I use some of this uh, flat braid. Yeah. Just a little bit to cover the body. I'll show you the tie it in. Down here. Nice and easy. Like this, and go up. Like in front again. Leave room for eyes and haggle in front. And then you're not gonna need some some type of floss. And I got a got a yellow one. Uh, here and take a piece of this, about 30 centimeters. You do use any color of the floss, it doesn't matter, it's going to be covered. But the, the yellow one is going to, going to be able to see it through the fat plate and the, the rest of the fly is also yellow or and citrus uh, colors. So it's a good choice with the yellow one. Start by tying this in. Leaving the frets in front and just going slowly backwards. I want to form a body that's a cone shape and it's thin down here in the back. Just go down once towards the end and in front again. Nice and slow. Backwards. Now we begin to shoot the, the figure part up front. Nice and even layer. And when you're satisfied with that, I am now like this. Good. Like this. And cut off the rest. I use my heckle pliers uh, when I use the, when I tie on the, the flat plate. Makes it easier in my bin. Go. Of course. Well, make sure I get a nice and even layer. No holes in, no gaps in it. Like this. Get rid of the rest. And then a good tri uh, trick just to make the fly more durable and uh, also make the flat plate shine even more is to use a UV resin, uh, a few drops. Just use a, a thin one here. Just go around. Like that. Some light. There we go. Now we want to make the, the tail, and for that, we're going to use some uh, mallard, a barred mallard in a good quality. 
they also often comes in uh, packs with a few feathers in it, but you need a good quality, in my opinion, because uh, otherwise they're not long enough, the feathers. And you're going to need uh, a feather that's uh, points to the left and one to the right. And I'm going to take a few stems uh, here, not much, maybe half a centimeter from this feather and uh, the same on the other, from the other one, half a centimeter of feathers. I'll just do that now. Place it on the tape. On the other one, I'm going to go for the same length and uh, also the same centimeters. So I have like this, and they're both turning in towards the middle. That's why I took one from the left, uh, a left uh, feather and a right feather. Then I'm just going to align them so we have this length. Do like this. Now, now I want to make sure I got the length of the tail I want. It's about that there. Slowly. Like this. I'm going to go anti-clockwise with, anti with my bobbin and take two loose turns. Like that. You see how that works. Now I'm satisfied, so now I'm just going to tighten it. Get rid of the rest and uh, secure up here and we finish it. And tie in my thread in the back instead, all the way back here. Take my two uh, mallet feathers. It's a back uh, shield on the back, maybe. Uh, look, looks like a, bit, a little bit like that. And make a little tail. Go around a few times. Like this. Could make a longer tail if you wanted to, but I want to keep it. It's a sparsely dressed and not very big uh, fly. So I'm going to. Like this. I'm satisfied with this. After that, we're gonna take your thread again and up front. Now we're gonna make a a heckle. And for that, I use these uh, ring neck uh, rump feathers uh, in uh, golden yellow, and I I try to find one that's uh, not too long in the fibers and I found one, found one here and I stripped it off the fluffy part here and I'm going to prepare it. There's really not much uh, I want to use because as, as I said before I want to keep it sparsely dressed this one. Like this, and tie it in in the front. This is a fin feather, I'm going to be careful. Just uh, go slow and so on. Pulling the fibers back. It's maybe two rounds, that's it. We got a, a nice hack in my opinion.
I'm building a bit of a bump up here uh, behind the, the eye just to make sure I have room enough for something to put on my eyes later on. But first I'm gonna turn it upside down and I wanna put, put, uh, some, uh, put some gills in. And for that I'm gonna use spot prawn and semi shield dubbing. Uh, and again, not very much. Uh, really, really going. Not going overboard with this. Cut it into shape. That's it. Not much. Just two loose turns. Making sure it's consistent. You can just use your finger to spread it out a bit. When that's secured, secured, I'm gonna take the, the rest and just get rid of. Turn it around again. Just to make it easier for myself, I'm gonna take a few drops of a uh, little bit of uh, some black dubbing just to make the head a little bit bigger for the eyes and just I just put on some put on some uh, on backs on my thread because I'm using a very slippery GSP thread and it's not the best to dub on. Maybe not more than that. Like that. And it with my, with my finish and get rid of the thread. I'm just gonna look if there's any fibers sticking out. I don't want those because I'm gonna use my UV resin to apply the eyes now. And those will just be in the way. For the eyes, I'm gonna use a um, I can find them here. Some 4mm living eyes in the, I think it's earth color this one. And take some, uh, some UV resin and put it up on the side of the line, like this. And a small drop. There we go. Get it in position like that. Let's set it with some light. Let's turn it. Not a drop. So it's a whole lot easier with the, with a little bit of dubbing underneath to to attach the eyes. Like that. Save it again. Just a little bit more to to make them. Oh, there we go. Make the eyes. Okay. Uh, 
careful not to overdo it here with the gluey. Just get it in there. Another one as well. It. There you have a durable, uh, lifelike, sparsely dressed uh, guy. Stickleback, Melas. Give it a try. Mm -hmm.